Hello everyone, welcome back to the 1975 Chevy C10 build. In the last episode, we finally started working on the tailgate. In this video, we'll be hopefully working on it some more. But we also decided to go ahead and paint the frame of the truck, the bed frame. So we're going to have to take off the bed to do that. So that's going to be the, one of the first things. And then also we found a, a few dents in the tailgate while we were cleaning it up and uh, sanding it down. But we're going to work on that in today's video as well, so stay tuned. And then taking off the bed will also help us in the future to work on the bed separately. But also it's a good thing to have the bed off for the cab corners so we can cut those out and weld the new ones in. And it would just be easier for us for the rocker panels as well. So overall it's really good. This video is going to start out a little differently. We're going to start out by doing a time lapse. So let's get into it. So we started by unscrewing the bolts that held the bed to the frame. There's a total of eight of them, but we decided to go ahead and do it. That didn't take very long as they were kind of easy to get to. There's only like a couple of them that were kind of hard to get to. So we're halfway, okay, so we're halfway done getting this off. We need to replace the filler nozzle, and then we're going to go ahead and take out the gas can or gas tank, make sure everything's all right. And then while we have the bed off, we could go ahead and clean the frame and go ahead and paint it as well. It would have been nice to have the bed off for the tires, fixing the brakes and everything. That's going to have to be clean. Okay guys, so we finally got the bed of the truck off, so we could easily work on it, do that a little time later, but right now, we got a fixed finish tailgate, and possibly get to clean the frame of the truck where the bed is. Since we already took the bed off, I've decided that we're going to pressure wash this whole frame over here, so we're going to clean that off, and then we're going to wait until tomorrow to actually paint it and sand it and all that, wire brush it, but after this, we're going to go ahead and do the tailgate. So let's get into it. Out of the gas.
So after we finished pressure washing, we realized that the person before us actually painted it black on this frame, to, which is good for us because it actually prevents some of the rust, which there is a surface rust, a little bit of surface rust on here, but it ain't too bad. And uh, it, looked like, it looks kind of like bed liner almost, kind of. Uh, but we're going to have to sand all that off later and... Uh, redo all of it. While we wait for this to dry so we can do the work on it, we're going to go ahead and work on the tailgate. Four cans of primer. This should cover up the tailgate. <laughs> Actually, about $12 a piece at uh, Tractor Supply, but at Walmart it was only $5 a piece, so I'd rather pay that price. Let's get back home. <laughs> Look at that. Smooth. Smooth. See, that's the low spots. Yeah. With them, with them welds. We're going to have to. So we can fill them in. Yeah, body filler. They're spot welds. So we just finished primering this part. We're not worried too much about how good it looks right now because we're going to have to sand it. We're just wanting to get it prevent rust until tomorrow in case it rains overnight or something. There's a few dents you can see right here. Some right there. Some over here. Right there. We're going to have to re-sand it, use some body filler, and then primer over that. And then right here, it's fish eyeing which means that there's some grease right there which we did not really wipe it off or clean before we painted but we're going to clean it all off later after before the second coat so we still got a lot of the tailgate to go but we're making progress i'll see y'all tomorrow what's the next day and we're going to start spraying on the frame and then Hopefully, if we get have time, we're going to get back onto the tailgate after it finally dried. Look at that. We finished spraying the bed down with the bed liner and also we used a little bit of the black spray paint to get the areas after we ran out. But the bed liner leaves a little bit of a texture. But look at that. It looks like a hundred times better than what it did originally. So it doesn't it doesn't matter that we got a little bit of paint on the shocks here because we might have to end up replacing them anyway because they're a little too stiff. But we got all this painted, 
all down here you can see the two exhausts but we're gonna have to take out this gas tank later and we're thinking about actually painting it black as well sand it down painting it black make sure there's no holes or anything in it it's looking so much better now so the bed liner is a whole lot more tougher than your average paint because you could scrub it hit it whatever it won't chip as bad as the paint because with normal paint you can scratch it off with your fingernail just about and with this stuff you really can't so we just finished painting the rear end over here so if somebody looks down here and looks at it they could actually see that it's also painted and so the attention to detail is key this is where we left off yesterday the primer looks like it has settled pretty good but then there's cat paws the cat prints all over it so that means that a cat has been on here overnight which is really annoying we got straight cats around here found body filler over here that ain't bad though We ain't going to use the covers. So now it's time to weld in these holes. We got the first two and three welds done. Now we need to move this, uh, trash can over so that we'd be able to weld that hole. Yeah, that's where it welded. We got a few holes that we gotta do. got some paint stripper and we're going to put it around these letters hopefully you get the excess paint off and then we're going to be able to primer it and then bondo it okay, if we use a lot of it I don't care the fish though Also, by the way, it, we're using... See it, it's, it's already working, see it? Oh, yeah. Taking the black off. And also, we're using a spreader that we do not use. We normally use those for, like, bondos and stuff. But we, we don't... We don't use this one. So I just finished getting all the paint off around the letters. Now it's time to degrease it and rinse it off and then primer it.
now it's all cleaned up look how good that thing shines shines really cool smooth too man it looks so good especially with no more paint around the letters now it's time to primer it so let's go yeah and it's also all right if you spray it with water as long as you decide to wipe it off Smells like it needs something. Ah, uh, I see what's happening. harbor freight and got some of these items over here so we got some more sandpaper we got a new paint gun and a new paint gun accessory kit which has a ton of those bottles that go on top and I got this for spray cans so you can put the cans of spray paint into this and it should make it a whole lot easier to even spray even coat on certain objects because unlike before if you go like this you really can't move your wrist that good but with this you could have a whole lot better range so you could go more like this instead of like this see it already comes with one of these but we got a ton of those in this oh that green is so good look at that green oh, ha, ha. little spray nozzle all that this is one of the Harbor Freight's cheaper ones. Hopefully it lasts us a while. So it's a couple days later and we finally got the bondo to put on the paint uh we already 
uh, decided to try out some of the Bondo in some of the big spots. Some areas we sand down pretty good, some others we haven't even got to yet. In some spots, the primer is coming off with while we try to sand it. So, However, we still got a lot more to sand and a lot more to Bondo. And then we're going to have to repaint some of it. Yes, yeah, so we got sand right here. You can see a little imperfections. We also got sand these uh, bubbles off from welding. So, like the skin. So we found this crack right here and we're going to have to use some glazing putty right here to get it filled up. Cracky. All this smooth down over here with Mondo. We're waiting for that to dry, but I'm going to use this wire brush to get over here in the crevices, clean those out. So I don't think we're going to have to do very much sanding on this side, but I'm going to use the wire brush, clean it all out, and we'd see if we could uh, get it primed as well. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. We actually got a quite a bit done. We still got a few areas where we have to put body filler and sand down some more. But we also finished the frame on the back. So there, it, we've done a lot today. And you know what? 
I, I think it's turned out really good. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Goodbye.